Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another uh, pickups video. Uh, I've, I've actually had a, a bunch of stuff in over the last, uh, well since since my last video really. Uh, and I've just been kind of saving it up uh, until I've got a nice pile, uh, which I now have. Um, I had um, two parcels or two relevant parcels come this morning. Uh, one of which uh, my cat sat on. Uh, this one here, uh, although I do believe uh, this is stands uh, in here, so it's probably not the most exciting of things to uh, to unbox. So maybe we'll just leave that one. Um, so uh, if I just swing the camera around, and we'll start uh, showing you the unboxings, or showing you what I got, and one unboxing because uh, only one of the parcels of the two that came today uh, is relevant to be opened. Really. Unless, of course, uh, Bo decides to move, in which case uh, I will uh, open the stands too. Uh, there's nothing, I don't think they're, they're too exciting. I think it's just basically some uh, some more 60 by 60s um, and uh, some uh, cavalry bases uh, for, uh, because of the, the huge amount of cavalry I've, I've, I've been doing, uh, I had to get some more in. Um, I've probably got at least, uh, I was trying to think the other day, I think I've got, uh, let's see, one, I think I've got two more cavalry units, uh, three more in total, uh, but two more that I actually have to get in uh, to complete, uh, let's see, uh, I need one to complete the uh, Light Dragoons, the fourth, and I need uh, some French Dragoons to finish the um, the 11th uh, cavalry division, I think that's the 11th, I always get mixed up, uh, that's what I like, uh, 11th, this is 11th. Right, uh, and of course, um, also I need one more uh, unit to finish my lifeguard, um, or my household cavalry division, which of course I've actually uh, got those in hand now. They, they, they got delivered to my sisters, um, because um, she basically, uh, I actually put them in the same order um, as, as when she was ordering uh, my Christmas present. And she goes, uh, do, do you need anything from here while I'm ordering? And I said, well, I do kind of need some... Uh, a unit of uh, lifeguards so um she put them in with their order and, and it's obviously been uh it's probably been about a month since I, since i saw her last and i went over hers for dinner um yesterday and uh, brought them back with me so i suppose i could show you those guys first um because I, I suppose they're probably uh the first thing that uh came in uh so these are uh perry's uh metal uh, household cavalry and uh, these are I believe charging or uh, I think all of them are um, obviously these guys in comparison to the, the just the standing uh, have a couple of extra poses so um, or at least one extra pose so uh, as opposed to the standing ones where you had to kind of get um, three boxes uh, of the same uh, and these ones, uh, I was uh, able to uh, just get two of one and one of another. Because um, I do like to have um, the front line charging with their swords up. And then some of the back line uh, with their swords uh, shouldered. And of course uh, the command, which I believe is 24. So this one's the command. Uh, and I'll just give you a quick, a quick look at them. Um, so, that's you guys. Uh, there we go. So more or less same, uh, same sort of uh, um, deal as the uh, light dragoons. You get an officer um, who is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool looking. I've got to say, uh, I like his position. We have a bugler. Again, uh, I quite like the fact that he's not actually blowing his bugle uh, because. Uh, Again, you get that sort of effect of where it looks like he's blowing the trumpet right in the guy's, uh, the guy next to him's ear. Uh, so that's quite nice, nice dyma dynamic uh, bugle pose. And of course, uh, the NCO, uh, who's got a little bit of a bent sword there, and uh, got sergeant stripes. And of course, he'll end up being my pseudonym commander, uh, as always. So that is the command, and the charge of uh, the horses are. I think these. I think these horses are called advancing, actually. Um, but advancing and charging, pr pretty similar. Uh, so yeah, three. Uh, I suppose kind of averagey 
uh, sort of charging you type horse positions or advancing type horse positions. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, let's just get rid of that cotton wool. And these back in. Uh, now the other two poses are, like I said, I believe uh, one's called uh, Sabres char Charging and the other one's called uh, Sabres on the Shoulder or Sabres at Rest or something like that. Probably Sabres on the Shoulder, I think. Um, so this is the uh, this is the one with the uh, the charging poses. So we get some uh, some quite cool poses there. I'll probably have uh, some of these guys uh, on the on the, the rear flanks, um, the rear flank units, uh, and then these guys uh, up front uh, with the actual proper forward charging sabers. Uh, obviously, this guy's got a little bit of a, a bent one there. There we go, and of course, I think these horses are more or less uh, the same actually. Uh, they might be in a slightly different pose, but um, again, just sort of standard running horses. So again, we we'll get rid of the uh, cotton wool stuff. So I always uh, remove the cotton wool from uh, from Perry's stuff as soon as it arrives, because we all know how much that stuff likes to uh, grab hold of figures. Uh, now the final pose. Uh, this is actually uh, this is this box un is un unopened at the moment. Um, I think I'll just I'll just open it up quick on camera just to um, check that there's no uh, miscastings or anything. Because it might be a little bit of a time before I start these guys. So yeah, it looks it looks uh, it looks okay. So this of course is a duplicate pack of um, charging positions. And we're literally just uh, checking for uh, miscasts. I mean, he's got a really bent sword, but other than that. I think the re all the rest of it's okay. So yep, that's great, and that's great. Apart from having really sticky cotton wool on them. So we'll just sort out this guy's sabre. Needs a little bit more work on it, but that'll do. And that is uh, the house uh, lifeguards from Perry's. So just put those guys away. Uh, these guys will allow me to actually finish uh, this um, division, which would be really cool. And it'll actually be the first division uh, of this project that I actually properly finish because uh, even though my Imperial Guard are literally a cannon battery away from being finished. Uh, they're, 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 they're still uh, on hold from uh, well in game, so uh, who knows when I'll uh, be getting those. Um, and then finally, the last pose uh, is the shouldered sabres. And I guess these guys are more or less the same uh, as the dragoons. Um, I think they could be exactly the same pose. Um, literally, just three guys uh, with their shoulders sabred. Which is perfect because I have one guy uh, next to the NCO in the middle, and then one guy on either side of the two guys with the, the slightly raised sabers uh, at the back, and then the front line is all uh, sabers up. So that is the uh, light dragoons. I'm add those to my huge pile of Perry's boxes that I've got building up over here. Um, a lot of them that are either for projects uh, of a further time or stuff I haven't got to yet. Um, so next up uh, we have a couple of, uh, and I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to use these guys, um, but we have a, another couple of uh, female uh, officers here uh, from, um, now I know the company, is, it's, I always get confused between uh, 
there's obviously elite miniatures, but these aren't elite miniatures. It's something like elite game games and miniatures or something like that. Uh, they do like a range of female Napoleonic figures, uh, and I've I already enjoyed uh, slapping a couple of uh, Easter egg female officers uh, into a couple of my, uh, my one of my French and one of my British units um, when I was doing my uh, last projects. So I thought it'd be really cool to uh, get a, another couple of line officers. Now, as you can see, this guy's got this uh, this uh, girl here or this lady here, has, uh, or female officer, has got a um, a, a weirdly painted shako. That's because she actually came with a stovepipe uh, shako, and the head I just decided to to use to give her a Belgic one uh, just happened to be uh, already painted black. So that's the reason why she's got um, a black shako on. Uh, and it looks kind of odd, uh, but here's the French one. Uh, they're both really cool uh, figures. Um, they're you know they're, they're disguised enough for, for you not to really spot them unless you really look. Um, especially the French one with the uh, with her long coat uh, across her shoulder. But yeah, cool little figures. Uh, I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be using these guys, but uh, they definitely are going to get used at some point. Um, Actually, talking about uh, projects, um, I did actually pick up. Um, I've kind of been on the hunt for um, doing a like a local unit, um, but the, the weird thing was that the the local unit to me, which was um, the the uh, or in, in this sort of time zone, that the South Hampshire Regiment uh, was actually over in uh, India. Um, for more or less uh, until about, I think it was until about maybe um, let's think, uh, I think it's maybe three years after Waterloo. Uh, so um, I, I've been looking around trying to find them, and uh, I just did. Even though I've searched UMB before, and, I, and I'm sure they didn't have them, I did actually manage to, to hunt them down. So I've actually managed to find the uh, 67th South Hampshire, uh, which are at the time, uh, the local regiment to me, uh, down here in Southampton. Uh, now I know at some point these guys uh, m merged with the uh, the North Hampshire uh, regiment and they became uh, one one combined Hampshire regiment. Um, but I th like I say, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure um, these guys uh, um, around Waterloo were, were actually uh, the South Hampshire. And uh, I managed to track the flag down, so I'm really cool. I'll be doing a, a guest unit uh, of uh, the South Hampshire foot uh, to add to my British forces, my miscellaneous British forces, uh, which would be quite cool. So that's something, uh, a little bit of a side project, which I'll which probably get done at some point. Uh, okay, so next thing. Um, we have a... Uh, A reinforcement, not is, has it a reinforcement? I, mean, oh, actually, I can't remember what it's called actually, but it's the, basically the smaller uh, unit pack uh, from front rank. So, uh, for instance, uh, the battalion packs are like 36, and these are the 24 man battalion packs, um, which uh, I decided to pick up to be a uh, one of the guards' units. And uh, as you can see, I've kind of I've separated them out. And uh, for some reason, you get two drummers uh, with these guys. And of course, I, I don't use two drummers. So uh, because they're in a advancing uh, pose, uh, I just brought in one of my spare elite miniatures, uh, who will fill in perfectly. Uh, so I've got no worries about uh, trying to replace the drummer. Basically, so the drummer goes into my spares and uh, gets replaced with a spare uh, elite so that uh, sorts that problem out straight away so yeah these guys are really cool uh, advancing I've never actually had any other posed uh, well apart from French uh, I've never really had any other poses but marching for, for uh, British figures uh, and strangely enough uh, the battalion, these smaller battalion packs uh, aren't actually available in marching which is really surprising so I think you can only get them in like uh, marching, charging, and possibly firing. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do um, for my other uh, unit because I need one more 
24 man battalion uh, to complete my uh, um, along with the the 36 man, which I'm actually in the in the process of, process of doing at the moment. If I just uh, bring across uh, this little um, tray here, you can see that there is uh, the majority of my 36 my next 36 man guards unit uh, already done. Uh, with literally just uh, the command group there and um, these six guys that I, that I was currently working on um, which are here you can see these guys are kind of um, more or less in there uh, just sort of finishing their base colours I suppose I suppose you could say um, and I've been working on these guys I've been mega held up over the weekend um, I was basically getting like six done a day, or just just over a day, um, and uh, I was doing really well. And I was, I was kind of hoping that I could have actually finished the whole thirty-six man battalion, uh, possibly even by today. Uh, but because I kept getting on Saturday, I was getting held up by my cat. Uh, she was in one of her constant attention moods, so she was, you know, trying to sit on my lap all the time and sitting on my trying to sit on my paint palette and sitting right on in the middle of my painting desk wanting attention all the time and um, I, I really couldn't paint so I, so I more or less spent out of maybe four or five hours I, I probably only spent about an hour painting <laughs> and then Sunday was a complete roast off too because uh, obviously I went over to my sister's for, for, for lunch so that, that uh, sort of carved out most of the day and uh, for the few hours I had uh, or two or three hours in the morning again my cat was uh, attention seeking and uh, I only really probably got maybe maybe an hour if I was lucky out of about three uh, of actually doing any uh, painting so I'm kind of behind by two days uh, but I, I would have been uh, really quite proud of myself if I managed to complete the 36 man unit in seven days um, and I think these guys are going to probably end up taking about maybe nine eight or nine days probably um, I, hopefully I'll finish the ones I'm working on today and I, I might possibly be able to start uh, the command guys, although I have actually been um, when I was sort of been doing the base colours, uh, especially the, like the the the, the, trout, the, the breeches and the uh, uniform, the the uh, undercoat that I use for the red. I've been kind of because I've had paint left over. I've been painting up like the next six that I had to do uh, in their base colours. Uh, so it's been kind of saving me a little bit of time each time, um, and obviously the flesh as well. Uh, so that is the uh, the front rank uh, advancing guys, and of course there's the command. I've just put them into separate bags, and then there's the uh, the flank companies. So you, you do actually get the right amount of flank companies, which is good. Um, I do actually quite quite rate these uh, these little twenty nine pound packs. Um, they're uh, they're pretty good. Um, I don't know if they're, they're as good a value as the thirty six man ones, but um, if you want to stick to getting as minimum amount of uh, leftover figures as possible um, and you do happen to have some spare uh, other troops that are in a, a similar sort of position then, uh, and, you don't, and you can get rid of the drummer um, then they work out really really quite cool uh, but like I say I'm, I'm not 100% sure on, on, on I don't know if I want charging uh, charging poses and I certainly don't really want um, another identical advancing uh, set either. Uh, okay, what's next? Uh, okay, so next up we have. Let's just put him down there. So this is. Um, if you remember me saying in my in my artillery video, um, I uh, mixed up my um, my divisional artillery, uh, thinking that they're both for artillery, uh, but actually one of them uh, is a. Uh, King's German Legion Royal Horse Artillery uh, unit of nine pounders. So I had to get a uh, basically another two guns in, uh, but this time a horse artillery. Uh, and I've, uh, I think I might have possibly shown my my Perry's one. I don't, I don't know if I did. I have actually picked up one Perry's gun, um, which is I'll just show you just in case. I can't remember if I've shown you it or not. Um, I have to find it though. Uh, maybe, I won't, I won't, maybe I won't show it to you. Uh, but basically I, I picked up a Perry's horse artillery gun. And the other gun I decided to get from Foundry again. Because I do really like the look of their uh, horse artillery uh, crew. 
Um, so again, I picked up a, a nine pounder and a the crew of um, horse artillery, uh, late horse artillery troops, and again they are superb. Uh, so here we have, I think this is the officer. Again, uh, don't get tricked by the small base. They're actually uh, the same size as um, as a Perry's or a uh, you know more or less uh, well the same height as a front front rank. Maybe a little bit on the on the slightly thinner side, but uh, they they do go uh, well, especially with Perry's anyway. Uh, so here we have um, the match guy. I think these guys are designed for a um, a loading gun. Or something like that because it doesn't look like they're they're in a sort of firing pose because this guy's kind of waiting uh, and he's got the match so um, then we have this guy it looks like he's covering the touch hole so uh, they're probably in the process of loading I'd say and um, wait a second I've got two of the same guy here I wonder if that's a mistake and finally the uh, the loader and you do actually get uh, some little accessories uh, this time which I didn't get with my fire artillery uh, so you get um, a couple of uh, extra loading tools uh, a little pile of cannonballs and some powder and a bucket which is quite cool so uh, that is that uh, next up, we shall go to the final thing, well actually second to final thing, uh, and that is another you know, command figure. Uh, this is from Front Rank, and this guy is destined to become, uh, I haven't 100% decided, I was going to use him for, because I need a command figure for my uh, household cavalry, uh, but I think I've already sort of found one for him, so I might use him, uh, this guy, uh, as the, uh, the command figure for the household cavalry division. But again, I haven't really decided, so, so uh, either way, he's a really cool figure. Uh, and uh, he'll definitely uh, be used uh, for one for one or one or the other. Um, so yeah, it's pretty chuffed with him. And of course, he is an S2, so he gets the horse with the uh, the horse blanket already attached. So that is a front rank command figure. And now finally, actually, I was talking about the Perry's nine pounder. Uh, this this pack shouldn't have the Perry's nine pounder in it, so uh, let's uh, get it open. So I've got two uh, things in here. BH-49 and BH-38. I need to close my knife, I should have kept it open. So let's get these open. Okay, so these are uh, artillery command, I believe. Um, now, the only thing I wasn't too hot on uh, for these guys was that they, you do actually get two uh, Royal Horse Artillery commanders uh, and only one uh, Foot Artillery commander, but it's not the end of the world. Um, they are a really nice pack. Uh, you get some nice horses that are kind of uh, at rest, which is which is quite cool, and that one needs some cleaning up on the bottom of his base. And then these are the guys that you get. So you basically get a couple of actually, this guy that is is foot artillery. 
So you get two foot artillery and one horse artillery. So that's quite good actually. So we have a horse artillery guy here. And two foot artillery guys. Uh, obviously uh, brigade commander sort of style uh, ranks which is really cool. Or well, not really brigade commanders, but divisional artillery uh, commanders, which would be which is really cool. So yeah, that's a really cool pack. Uh, put those guys away now. That means that the last pack uh, is the um, the horse artillery gun. Yep, there we go. So let's get rid of the cotton wool because it's it's really on these guys. Now I think this gun is I can't remember which position this gun is. Um possibly fire ready to fire. So, uh, yeah, you get your four crew. And of course the nine pounder. And that gives me the two guns that I need to uh, finish my, um, or finish the artillery, divisional artillery for my uh, first infantry division. So yeah, that, that's it. Uh, that's That's everything. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I should be back uh, certainly within uh, the next maybe uh, three or four days with another video when I get around to finishing my next uh, unit, uh, hopefully, uh, so uh, that'll be something to look forward to, uh, and uh, that's about it, I will catch you next time. So goodbye from me, goodbye from the boaster, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.